Hello and welcome back to 3R Ballistics. Recently we've been doing a small little mini-series on the Ruger American and Go Wild and specifically 7mm PRC. We've been testing different types of ammo and this is right along those lines. We will be testing out this guy right here. And what that is, is Federal's 170 grain terminal ascent bullet in 7mm PRC. They have a claim of expansion and accuracy out to 1,250 yards, which I fully believe, but that's what we want to do is test it. We want to put some clay blocks out past 1,000 yards, and uh, we want to see if we can capture the bullet, see what kind of expansion we actually get past 1,000 yards. Now, hunting past 1,000 yards seems... Uh, a little unethical and maybe unrealistic but I know there's some people out there so I think many of you won't even attempt this but it'll be good to acknowledge what the bullet can actually do at those distances okay so and with all that being said I don't know what propellant they're using I uh, I just know that these 170 grain terminal ascent bullets from what I've tested and we will have the Garmin chronograph out there uh, getting every one of these velocities but I have done a five shot average and it came in just under or above 3,000 feet per second so I know their 175 grain ELDX in the federal load is also coming in right around 2950 if you want to see me do some type of testing with the ELDX in federal let me know I have a few boxes of those as well. But today, we're going to take this out. Terminal scent, federal. Let's get out to the range, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we are going to attempt a 1,033-yard shot somewhere way up in there. Nice. Let's make sure that's a, a good shot. We'll do it again. Okay. 3,000 feet per second, though. I know. Okay, here we go. Yep. Oh, I heard that one. Of course, the wind picks up a little bit now. Here we go, 1,033 yards into clay. Ah! Above it. Okay, here we go. This one's gonna be perfect. I say we do one more. I didn't see anything come out. But this is the main hit that we hit. We're gonna go ahead and dig in there, see what we can't find, and get back to you. Okay. So we are back from the range, and I gotta say, that was something. We uh, spent quite a bit of time digging through 400 pounds of clay, 
but we were able to recover two projectiles right there. In all transparency, we had about five shots on steel first to try to get the correct windage and a little bit of dope. And we were having a heck of a time. It was in the mid 80s, the mirage in the, in the scopes were kind of throwing us a little bit. And then we had about another four shots into clay with two hitting it. The clay was only roughly uh, about 15 by 15. I have to say, at 1,033 yards, I am pretty impressed. I will zoom in on these and give you a little bit more in depth. But what I want to say is, we went ahead and took one of the Federal Terminus, Terminal Ascent bullets. And sure enough, we went ahead and weighed it. It weighs, no surprise, 170 grains and um and then we went ahead and weighed the most complete bullet i'll explain these a little bit uh and it weighed 162 grains so it retained a bunch of its weight it mushroomed out pretty well especially for over a thousand yards I was also really impressed with the velocities. After 10 shots, we were averaging 3,000 feet per second. Uh, I understand this is a little bit lighter bullet than the 175 ELDX, but 170 grain, 3,000 feet per second. Uh, again, if you want me to test out the ELDX at the same distance, just let me know. I'll see if I can get it done. We had 400 pounds of clay though, so that was um, a bit of work. It was a lot of work. We were having some ca uh, camera malfunctions. The GoPro ran out of storage space and the drone, uh, we forgot to hit record on the second set of shots. So I think we only got three recorded. One being a hit though. And I gotta say, if you look closely, I was I hit a fly. There was a fly that comes across that, that uh, clay block and at 1,033 yards, I was able to hit a fly with a 7 millimeter PRC. Um, now technically was I aiming for it? No. I could barely see the clay blocks in the scope because of the mirage. But uh, I'm going to say I hit a fly at over a thousand yards. Uh, try that, you know. So either way, uh, we uh, let me bring you in on the bullets and what I want to explain is this one right here was the first hit. It went in 14 inches of depth and mushroomed really nicely. This one only went 12 inches in and that is because it veered down and hit a little bit of the plastic that was underneath. So it deformed it as you can see and there's some of the plastic that's in there. The green is still in there. Otherwise, I believe it would have been also... Oops. Otherwise, I believe it would have also been about 14 inches of penetration into the clay. And again, if I haven't shown you, um, I'll probably go ahead and insert a, a graph somewhere here. And... Um, and I'll explain, you know, how much energy and velocity this should have at 1,033 yards. I might correct the numbers a little bit for what I was getting. It was 85 degrees. I am at an altitude of 6,625 feet above sea level. So, you know, those I'm sure give me a little bit of extra velocity. But uh, with all that being said, I mean, it was a pretty good test. Again, this is 170 grain. This retained 162 grain. This was 159 grain. So, and again, that hit a little bit of plastic, but you know, if you're hunting, not that you would be hunting ethically shooting past a thousand yards, but you know, you could hit bone something and that should give you a representation, a little bit more of that. 
So if you guys have stayed till the end, I appreciate it. Like, subscribe again in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to do the Federal ELDX. Uh, if you want me to try the Precision Hunter ELDX. And um, I may even try the Burger. I still have a few shots of those left. But uh, again, until the next one.